How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. Today we have the man that got a hat trick, didn't get an informer, broke the record for the goal scored in the MLS, didn't get a record breaker card, but now he does have a player of the month MLS item that we are going to review today. So, lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button on this video. Um, basically, if you enjoy, Click the like button, it takes two seconds of your time, and it helps me out massively, so that would be massively appreciated, boys. Let's aim for 1,000 likes. That should be pretty damn decent, to say the least. And subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Click the subscribe button. Click the little bell as well to be notified when I do upload on the channel. Now, Carlos Villa will be playing, not that position, in-game. It's going to be striker in a 3-4-1-2. I do believe that's what I was playing. Uh, we've got Carlos Eduardo on the left-hand side. He'll be playing... As a right midfielder, Lozano will be calm, Martinez, Villa at striker. And this is kind of an example of a team you can do with Carlos Villa. Get the MLS up top, and uh, Martinez does run out tomorrow, I do believe. So if you want Martinez, get him done ASAP. We've got Lozano on the right for the Mexican link. We've got a Mexican in the middle in Herrera, who is pretty damn decent on this game. And gives you a good link to La Liga. So with that being said, Carlos Villa, he's very cheap by the way. You can see that on the top right hand corner of your screen, but will he be worth it? So here we go, and as you guys can see, like I just kind of touched on there, the price is 25k on both consoles, the Xbox and the PlayStation. I've got to say, that's one of the cheapest SPCs this year, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the cheapest SPCs, and uh, you get a pretty damn decent player for that price. Now, I know what you're looking at straight away, you're going to focus on it throughout the video, because it's at the bottom of the screen as well. Two star weak foot. Now, with that, obviously it's going to be a con. Obviously, it's not that great, and it's especially affecting long shots from outside the area on his right foot because he is left foot primarily, but he can still score on that weak foot. It's because of his stats. Um, if his stats were that of a, what's, what's his word, Triori, I think it's, um, no, I don't know his first name, Triori from Lyon. He's got a one-star weak foot. Now, with his stats that he's got, you can definitely tell that one-star weak foot in game. Now, with Baylor and his stats being enhanced, the weak foot isn't that much of an issue, but it's still a massive issue with the card, and it is still massively noticeable. But um, he can still, still score with that one, especially with the 90 finishing. Goes to 95 with the 100 chem style. He's got 83 acceleration and sprint speed. Very well balanced pace on this game. Hunter takes it to 93 and 93, respectively. 89 attack and position with high to medium work, well, high to low work rates. He's always on the front foot. He's always like trying to break beyond defenses, and his positioning is very good as well. In terms of finishing, it's night, like I've said just before. 80 shot power, 89 long shots, 86 volleys, and 76 penalties. The passing is up there as well, so you can be creative, you can play it calm, you can pull the strings in midfield. 85 vision, 82 cross, 85 short pass, and 88 curve, which is the most important there for creating and through balls and whatnot. Lads, some of the goals he scored on me for fantastic, and it's mainly on the left foot, because his left foot is a bloody wand. Let me tell you that much. Look at this, he turns, left foot, that's top bins, and actually makes this guy rage cut as well in the 77th minute, but that was a sensational strike by Carlos Villa. Stick him striker, he's going to score goals. Even, uh, I believe if you stick him calm, he's going to score goals as well. Well, into the dribbling category because I haven't been through those stats yet. He's got 84 agility and balance, 86 reactions, 89 ball control, 88 dribbling, sensational stats right there, and 86 composure. He goes one on one with the keeper, stops the ball, puts it in the nets, and again, it causes another rage quit in that match. In terms of the head accuracy, it's 73, but he's not going to win headers. Now, headers on this game are pretty damn pointless, but it's headers from the goal kick that he's not going to win. So, with him being a striker, um, that goes against the card. His heading does go against the card because 67 jumping, 5 foot 10 in heights. He's not going to win headers. Simple as that. So he's going to be uh, like a Messi type player. Not, not as good as Messi. Obviously not as good as Messi. But um, left foot. Messi's left footed. Four star skills. Messi's got four star skills. Um, he's going to be a similar type of player to Messi. Even though Messi's got the weak foot and stuff like that. And Messi is the more finished article. It's just got the same body type as the Leo Messi on this game. When it comes to the pros... Finishing, it's got to be up there, and it's definitely up there, because his finishing is bloody phenomenal. And that's saying something, because on this game, you need to be able to finish your chances. Carlos Villa, just get on his left foot, boys, and you'll finish it every single time. You know what I'm saying? Because 90 finishing, 
That's impressive. That is very impressive. And like I said, give him a chance, he's gonna score. That's one of his best stats on the right hand side of your screen. You see the 89 ball control there as well, and the worst being strength and jumping. We'll talk about that ball control right now because he can trap every single ball that's passed into him, whether it's a ball like that, a ball like that, a ball like that. He can trap all of them. This one gets back here to Carlos Villa. Like I said, it's got his right foot, but that was an open goal. He scores a better goal where it's on his right foot, the keeper's in net, and um, he does score a better goal on his weaker foot. In terms of dribbling, it's there with the guard, and it's, it's a good dribble as well, because with the ball control, with the dribbling, with the acceleration being quite well balanced, and the agility and balance being, both being 84, he can definitely dribble on this game. And with the four star skills, he can add that to his repertoire of uh, tricks on this game, because he can do a stop and turn, he can do stuff like that, and it is, Quite effective with Carlos Villa. I need to say that much because Carlos Villa um, doing stuff like this. This is him at striker alongside Martinez. The one twos now are very impressive. Like I said, he scan. He, well, he scan. He can't score on the weak foot, as you just seen there in the background. Four star skills. I've been through this. He can skill, he can skill, and he can skill. With the trouble that he's got, um, it's not gonna get too far away from his body or anything like that. But with the acceleration, it's not gonna be as fast as coming out of the skills with 83 acceleration, 84 agility. So it's not gonna be that fast of a exit in the skill move, but honestly, the, the control of the skill moves there and he can definitely do them. So four star skills is definitely, definitely a pro. Uh, I stopped the ball last time, took a first time shot there. You can you can like differentiate what you want to do with this card. You can stop and turn, you can stop the ball, take a shot, you can stop, take a pass, you can just take the shot, you can do what you want with this card. He is very, very enjoyable in game. His movement is up there because he's got high to low work rates. It means he's not going to drop back, he's not going to be a defensive type of player. Look at Martinez and Villa on the last men here. Villa's more like more advanced than him, so allows him to kind of bridge the gap to get him behind, whereas Martinez was kind of a little bit further back, which created angles, not in the same position, they're not um, interrupting each other's play or anything like that, so Carlos Villa is great at doing that, and he stays on the last man of the defence. When it comes to comes with this card, two star weak foot, it's the elephant in the room, everyone's talking about it, everyone says he's not worth it because of two star weak foot, lads. He is worth it, but not because of a lack of a two, well, better star weak foot than he's, um, the weak foot that he's got, which is two star. Uh, he's two star weak foot, he can still score on it. I've evidenced that in this review, he can still definitely score on the weak foot. It's just his long range shots, his passes on that weak foot just aren't as accurate as his left foot. His left foot is golden and it's, like I said, it's a wand. It's, it's a wizard's wand. Yeah, that's what I was pretty much going for. But it is a wand, it's fantastic, and he can definitely utilize that. It's just his right foot isn't as strong, and that goes against the card. What else isn't as strong? His, his strength is it's just not strong. He's got 70 strength, 59 aggression, which begs the question, why didn't he use a hawk to boost that or anything like that? Lads, 70 to 75, you're not gonna notice a difference, simple as that. You're not gonna notice a massive increase in terms of the chem style boost. So um, I didn't add that to the strength or anything like that. The strength is still gonna be weak, it's still gonna be quite flimsy in the game, and it's because of his aggression being 59. In terms of what else goes against his cards, I've gotta say, his, his heading, he's jumping, he's goal kicks. Being a striker in this game, that's gonna go against the cards simply because he can't hold the ball up because of his heading and his strength. Uh, he can't hold the ball up, he can't be that kind of player, but I don't think he's that kind of player, you know what I'm saying? I think he's this force nine, he's this calm, he's this centre forwards. I think he's that type of player to uh, link up the play, to create, and to definitely score the goals. Because his finishing, for me today, will be the key pro. So lads, let's get into your raw rating. Oh, that Carl, is it Carlitos Villa? Let's have a look at his full name. Nah, it's Carlos. So let's have a look at Carlos Villa and his overall rating for myself. He's gonna get lads at 8.5, which is a good rating for the card. Do I think he's as good as Martinez? I think Martinez offers you that little bit more. I know Martinez doesn't have the four star skills this year, but he's got that va va boom. I don't know what that means, but he's got that extra something something Martinez and it could be the pace It could be his raw pace and his impact on games, but um, I don't see Vela as a substitute I really really don't because on off the bench. He's gonna cause an impact. Don't get me wrong He's gonna cause an impact, but I reckon it'll cause more of an impact starting stamina You need to watch out for it's sub 80. It is 77, but it actually wasn't too too bad with this card in general So 8.5 is the overall rating for this card. The value guns is a 9.6 and I know what you're thinking He's only 25k. Why are you giving him a 9.6? His links are limited. 
you've got the Mexican icons, your Hernandez's, your, um, I've already forgot the, uh, is it Sanchez? <laughs> I've already forgot the second, uh, the brand new icon this year, I think it's Sanchez. Uh, I could, I could be completely wrong with that, by the way. Um, and, no, is it Sanchez? I've got literally no idea right now. I could have a look, but I'm not going to do that at this moment in time. So, in terms of the value of coins being 25k, his links just, nah. Uh, MLS links eventually could be very good. But by the time it gets to eventually very good, um, you're going to have a lot better Carlos Villas. I, I believe that anyways, because he's been exceptional this season. Uh, and MLS MVP most likely will go to Carlos Villa. That comes in December, should uh, EA follow their tradition of giving a card for the MLS MVP. In terms of enjoyment rating, he's getting 8.6 for an enjoyable card. And I did enjoy um, my time with this card. And I'll, I'll probably use them most likely in the future from a starting position, should I use MLS squads. And you guys know this now. Through the, the start and the feature and stuff like that, objectives for icon swaps, could this guy, guy be used in the future for like an MLS theme? Who knows? But we do have a lot of MLS special cards right now. You've got Nani, I, I do believe you've got Zlatan, you've got Joseph Martinez, you've got Carlos Villa, and the list could go on. In terms of games played, he played five, he scored eight, and he assisted one time. His first five games, or his only five games so far, were 9.2, 8.8, 9.5, 9.8, and it's in, out, it's in. And in terms of um, links I've been through, that a similar player would be Timu Pugi. Now, Pugi, it doesn't have four-star skills, Carlsvall does, but statistically, and their statistical layouts, like pace, shooting, dribbling, and physical, are quite, quite similar. And that's the reason, not because of the skills, the weak foot, etc., etc. It's just their statistical layouts. In terms of K-Pro, will be the finish, and the K-Con will be the two-star. We put the best cam style will be Hunter. I wanted to boost that pace, and I wanted to boost that pace. <laughs> I mean, 83, 83. It's, it's better when it's 93, 93. So, um, yeah, I boosted that with Hunter Kemp style, took him to an 89. Center forward, right forward, left forward, right wing, left wing, an 88 rated striker and an 88 rated cam. And it seems the best in that position that I've reviewed so far within the MLS, Martinez comes out on top over Carlos Villa and Zlatan. I need to pick him up at some point. In terms of um, the Mexicans uh, on this game at that position, it would be Icon Hernandez. That's uh, El Matador. And there, uh, Carlos Villa would come in at number two ahead of... Is it Sanchez? I literally have no idea who this other Mexican legend is. It is Sanchez. It is Sanchez. Uh, what's his first name? Hugo Sanchez. Uh, there we go, boys. We've got that one sorted. But um, Sanchez would come in at number three. In terms of passing out a 10, it's a seven. His shooting is an eight. His dribbling is also an eight. But his physical is a five. And lads, that's this review done. I hope you have enjoyed today's review. This is... In a review I didn't expect to do today, I expect to do Crespo tonight, so Crespo will come tomorrow midday or morning, depending on when I can get the chance to upload it, probably mid-afternoon UK, so about 3, 4, maybe 2, who knows, but I, I hope to see you then, and lads, if you have enjoyed this review, leave a like, leave a comment, any comments, are you going to do this card, have you experienced this card, let me know in the comment section below, Carlos Vela, is he worth your time, is he worth your coins, 25k on the Xbox, 25k on the Playstation, let me know in the comments, but lads, if you have enjoyed, smash a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will catch you all next time.